Hey guys, this is Frankie, Simply Imaginary People, and this is just a short tutorial on skin blending about how to match colors a bit better. So, um, say we have the skin, and you can see we don't have any seam lines, neither around the neck nor on the scalp. And say you've got one of two situations, either you've decided to skin blend a darker face on and have a lighter base, or you just want to make the skin a darker skin tone. So mostly the problem is if I start editing the face now, say I start doing this, making it more brown maybe, and change the color a bit so that it fits, ish. I don't know. Just doing this fast like that. Problem is how am I going to make the body and the face match the exact same colour without putting a shitload of effort in and doing trial and error. So it's really just a quick tip is to go to Windows Adjustments if you don't have it and you'll see these adjustments. So we're going to use these so make sure on your um, list of skins here you have the skin that you don't want to change the colour as the top layer and then you're on the last the skin, or the last uh, layer before that skin. So that these adjustments are going to appear between the light one and the dark one. Or if you just want to make an entire skin dark, that you're on the top layer. And we're just going to use these sentences: brightness and contrast. Mm. And then we can also use another one, which is selected color. You can just fiddle around with these. See, it kind of changes color things, fiddle around, try and match the skin color however you want. Let's go to the other ones. And then, obviously, you can also kind of erase the edges if you want. But yeah, just, just keep adding adjustment layers until you kind of get it the way you want. So Channel Mixer, there's a ton of them. You can do whatever you like. Fiddle around with the ones that work. Vibrance. Okay, until you kind of match the color. So I'm just going to save this and show you that now you can see her face is now darker. Now the issue now is I need the scalp and the body to be the same texture. But because I was working with adjustment layers, all I can do is I can select all my adjustment layers and say duplicate layers to body and duplicate layers to my scalp. Make sure they're all at the top. Right, and now let's save that and save that. And if I render now, you'll see I don't have any seam layers really. Maybe a little bit, but usually at an amount that I can either deal with or I can mildly edit. So. I mean, I can see it here, maybe a tiny bit, but really nothing that would bother me. I'd probably put hair on my skin anyway. But yeah, that is pretty much how to really quickly just do that. Obviously, if you do get bothered by the tiny seams, you can edit these in 3D mode. But by working with adjustment layers instead of working with, like, actually editing the original, you can really quickly just do that. And obviously, if you don't want that face, it's also a way to just make a skin darker uh, in general. Now I'm just going to show you some other tricks that I've learned from some friends. So let's just say I've got this face. Okay. And I'm just going to duplicate it. And I'm going to say soft light. You can also do this with a different face. Like, um, let's do it with this one. So I'm going to use this face and I'm going to change the layer to soft light, image, adjustments, hue, saturation, and take the color out of it. And then I can with curve, so control plus M, fiddle around with how dark or how light I want it. 
And you can see what it kind of does is it highlights parts and it also kind of, you'll see at the nose, gives it some of the details of the other skin. So it's kind of a way of like adding some details to the skin. Um, you can also, if you duplicate the same one, so your image again, just kind of, you'll see, it'll just make it darker as well. You'll see that in a way I can just kind of make the contrast of my skin a bit more and it kind of just sometimes highlights a bit more details. Just delete that, show you the next one. So what I learned from a friend to add detail is duplicate my layer and then say filter other high pass. And set this to something where you can see quite a bit of detail, you like the way the detail looks. And then you can set this either to overlay or to soft light, whichever one you like more. And you'll see that it just brings out a lot of details. Uh, most of the time, if you don't want seams, it's a good idea to just delete once around the corner edge and also delete this part, which is the neck. So if I just take this out, ignore that her body will now go. Uh, face. This is what the skin looks like, and if I put this on a bit more so you can actually see the difference. Just take a screeny of that. If I then use this, you can see this is obviously extreme so that you can see the difference. It just brings out the detail and the shadowing a bit more. So it's just a way to really quickly just kind of up your skin a bit. So yeah, that's just a couple of tips.